how you doing? Um, I hope you're all well. Uh, I'm just doing a quick rugby skills video and rugby challenge video now for you, uh, just to keep you going this week. Um, firstly, I hope you're all well and uh, that you enjoyed last week's video from Harriet. Um, she's new, one of our new rugby ambassadors that we brought on and she's going to be helping the rugby school out with all bit, types of different stuff and bits and pieces and videos and coaching and all sorts of stuff. Um, she's the current Sail Sharks uh, women's uh, team player, which is fantastic and brilliant for you guys as well. So you get to see what people are playing really high level elite sport, um, how they train, what they do, especially in lockdown when you can't do the sort of normal types of coaching. What do they do to uh, work on their hands or work on their hand-eye coordination or their fitness and bits and pieces. So it's really good just to see from a different point of perspective what kind of things they do. So I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope you tried some of the challenges. Um, so this week, what I want to do is two parts. There's a bit of fitness and a bit of a rugby skills thing. Now the fitness side, we're going to go back to what we started doing to start lockdown. We're going to do some, some mile runs. Now, I know lots of you have done mile runs. I know some of you haven't done maybe some runs or maybe haven't posted the runs. So I want to see a run from as many people as possible. So if you can do a mile, do a mile, that'd be great. If you think a mile is a bit too far, maybe start with half a mile or three quarters of a mile, 800 meters, something like that. Um, so you can really get your teeth into just getting back out, getting some fitness up, right? And just getting back out in the fresh air because it's not snowing anymore. We've got no rain, we've got no excuses, no ice. It's lovely weather to go out and do a bit of sport, do a bit of exercise. So let's see some miles. And it's not about being the fastest in the group. It's not about who can beat who or anything like that. It's about yourself, it's about your fitness and seeing if you can improve a bit as well. So if you go out and do one run, go and do another one in a couple of days time, see if you can beat that time, okay? Uh, if you run three quarters of a mile on Monday, see if you can do the full mile by Friday. Whatever it is, let's just try and get some real activity going, lads, and really try and get some uh, sort of videos posted out. So that'd be really good on that stage. From the rugby skills point of view, what I'd like to see is just a bit of working on all the different elements of stuff. And I want to see some sort of skill videos from you guys. So that can be doing some round the world. So that can be doing some clapping and catching. That can be doing any types of tricks you want, doing a bit of balancing, really high throws, one-handed catches, whatever it is you want to do. So like you do in football, you know when you're doing little uh, keepy up videos and that kind of stuff and people are trying to create skills, okay? Is there skills that you can create in rugby? Is there something you can do just to really get your hand-eye coordination going, okay? So make something up, uh, create something, practice something we've already done. But just send through some videos of what you're what you up to. Even if it's just in the living room, just doing some work around the world. All right? Or if it's out in the garden doing massive kick up and catches. Whatever it is you're working on, all right? Send a video, post them out, and we'll get, some, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get a load of them coming out. So that'll be really good. Anything else, uh, question-wise, feel free to ask uh, and come back to me. But apart from that, have a great week. If you need anything at all, come back to me, and we'll go through things in detail. Have fun. See you later. Bye.